Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Nicole King and today we're going to be talking about water xylophones. Did you all know that sound travels in waves? Sound does travel in waves. Sound actually moves through mediums and they are known as vibrations. Did you all know that musical instruments create sound waves? And these these sound waves are created when the objects move. That's how we hear like these beautiful sounds from the piano, beautiful sounds from harp or any other type of musical instrument, the viola, violin, you name it, sound waves are created through the vibrations of these objects. So in today's lab, we're gonna create a water xylophone where we're gonna be adding water to different, well, we're gonna be adding different levels of water to different cups and we're gonna measure and test what the sounds are. So let's kind of take a few steps back and let's think a little bit about what those sound waves are. So we said sound travels in waves. So the louder the sound, actually the higher the amplitude. And the lower the sound, the longer the amplitude. And I want you all to put your, take your hand and put it against your throat and say, ah. Yeah, did you know that those were sound waves that you just created? Now we're also gonna talk a little bit about pitch. Did you all know when we have high pitch, high pitch, the wavelength is much shorter. And when we have low pitch, the wavelength is much longer. So we're gonna test that out when we make our water xylophone today. Head on over to the lab, see you there. Welcome back to the lab with me. I'm so glad you all were able to join me for our demonstration with the water xylophone. So before we get started, let's just discuss what our supplies are. So for this demonstration, you're gonna need six uh, mason jars or glasses. I have an extra one here that I'm gonna reference back to so that we can compare the sound of an empty glass um, with sounds of glasses that have water in them. You're gonna need a jug of water. You're gonna need um, measuring cup so that you can measure out how much. You're gonna need a spoon so that we can use to tap our um, glasses so we can hear our different sounds. And you're also gonna need some food coloring because we're gonna like, you know, make different colors um, with, our, with our water xylophone today. So I'm gonna put on some gloves. Um, just, you know, to keep my hands nice and clean while I use the food coloring. That's not necessary, but, you know, if you have gloves, it's always great to just, you know, protect your hands. And one thing I forgot to mention is that we're also just going to want to have some nap napkins to the side, you know, in case we have to wipe anything down or in case there's a spill of anything. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get started. So, for each of our mason jars, we're gonna measure a quarter, a, a quarter or a cup of water, so one fourth a cup of water. Um, and as we increase the number of jars, we're gonna increase the amount or increase or add an additional cup of water to each cup. So for example, for our first cup of water, we're gonna add one fourth a cup. And then to our second um, xylophone, we're gonna add two one fourth cups of water. To our third, we're gonna add three one-fourth cups of water and so on and so forth. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with the first one. So I'm just gonna go ahead and measure it out, one-fourth a cup. And like I said, I have like an extra one that I'm gonna set aside. And remember when we are measuring, we wanna make sure that we are consistent with our measuring and we keep the meniscus above the line that we are measuring. So I'm gonna set this one aside for our first one just go ahead and add that water then after we add like our water to each cup we're gonna use our food coloring to make some interesting colors so we did one one fourth cup to the first one now we're on our second cup so we're gonna add two one fourth cups so this is one And this will be two. So we added two one-fourth cups to our second cup. Now to our third cup, we're gonna add three one-fourth cups. So we have one, and we're measuring very carefully. So one, one-fourth. We have two one-fourth.
And we have three one fourth cups. All right, so now we're moving on to our four. So we're gonna do four one fourth cups. So we're on our first one. So one, one fourth cup. We're on our second. So two, one fourth cup. Three. One fourth cup. And four. One fourth cup. All right, we're down to our last two jars. So I'm sure you all know the trend. Now we're on our fifth. So that means we're gonna have five one fourth cup of water that we're gonna measure. So I like to count out loud just to make sure you know I don't make any mistakes. So one. One fourth cup, two, now we're on our third, so this is three, make sure we get it all in there. Now we're on four. And five. All right. And now we have our six. So now we have one, we're on our second, two, three, All right. So now that we have all of our, now that we have um, our fourth cup of water in increments as we in go across, we're gonna next add our food coloring. So now that we've added our water to our basin jars, we're gonna add some food coloring. The food coloring will not change the sound, but you know it'll make things interesting, give us a little pop. So I'm gonna, you know, make my workspace a little bit clean. So I'm gonna put this aside. And so I have our food color in here. And so remember I said that I had an, remember I said that I have a spare one over here. So we're gonna keep that, you know, for testing purposes. And so for our first one, I'm gonna add two drops of red. I wanna start off with red. And then we're gonna use our spoon. So I have like a little extra spoon, you know, to just kind of stir our food coloring. And then we're gonna grab our napkin kind of wipe that off. Then for our next one, we're going to go blue. Go two drops of blue. 
want to make sure our spoon is clear. All right. So for our next one, I think I want to do orange, right? And how do we get orange? Red and yellow. That's right. So we want to make sure this orange, yeah, so we see our red and we see our orange. So that looks a little different. Okay, so the next one we want to do, let's just do our yellow. All right, look at those colors. So I think I want to do purple, and I'm sure you all know red and blue is purple. Nice. And so I think for the last one, I just kind of want to do a combination of all of our colors. And let's see what that gives us. I have an idea of what that gives us, but I'm curious, what do you all think will happen when we mix all of the colors? I'm gonna put all of my full color in aside. Oh wow, look at what happens. When we add all the colors, we get black. So now that we've added our food coloring, we have our different levels of water in our glasses. Let's test out the pitch, let's test out the sound. Remember we talked about all those things earlier. We talked about the amplitude, right? We talked about the sound wave. We talked about high pitch. We talked about low pitch. Let's keep that in mind as we test things out. So as our baseline, remember I said I had our empty jar? So let's, oh wow, do you all hear that? Now let's compare that to this one. What do you all hear? To me, I hear that when, the, when our glasses are empty, we have a higher pitch. We have a lower pitch. Remember we talked about that? So we talked about when we have a higher pitch, we have a shorter wavelength. And when we have a lower pitch, we have a longer wavelength. Now let's compare our to, oh. Now let's compare it to, wow, did you all know that we could play sounds and we could play a song with, you know, just experimenting and testing out the different ways that sounds are created through different amounts of water in different jars. So let's test it one more time compared to now I'm going to show you how to do twinkle twinkle little star. You all just heard twinkle twinkle little star so before we
So I just kind of wanted to give you all one more look before you know we finish out and close out. So we talked about water xylophone today. We made a water xylophone. We used different amounts of water to vary the pitch. And we learned about how different we learned about how as we have a high pitch versus a low pitch, how that affects the sound wave, right? A high pitch has a shorter sound wave. A low pitch has a much longer sound wave. So I hope you all enjoyed today's lab. I had a great time.